Hey, what's up everybody? St. R. Edwards here. Welcome back to the Ski Channel Swift Coding for Everyone. We're going to finish up our Apple Pie project in this lesson by uh, creating a way to determine wins and losses. And we're also going to uh, fix some of our functions. Again, um, as you've seen in the last lesson, one of the problems was that uh, even after I spelled the Chewy's word correct uh, in my situation, uh, you know, the score was still be able to go below zero. You know, all the apples fell off the, off of the tree, but you know, the score label wasn't updated and, um, you know, you know, I was still able to get things incorrect and there was no way to progress. And so, so we're going to fix that in this lesson and we're going to start off by, um, figuring out how to determine a winner or how to determine, you know, a, a loss for a particular round. And so, you know, just think about that for a second. How would you determine if a player has lost and how would you determine if a player has won? So one of the things that you, you can do is, is uh, by creating a simple if statement. So if, uh, you know, the incorrect moves, you know, if it equals zero, then the player has lost. Uh, but if not, if, you know, you still have moves left, then, you know, the game has not been lost yet. And also, if their word, if you know, if their formatted word equals the current game's word, then you need to increment the, you know, the win column because that means they have all the letters correct, and then they need to progress. All right. And so, what we're going to do is, is we're going to create a function called update game state, and we're also going to call that after each button press instead of update UI. I already deleted mine, but at the bottom here, you know, you should still have update UI in the button press function. So we're going to create that new function right now. So below the update UI, I'm going to create func update game state. All right. And then we're going to do just what, you know, we were just discussing. So we're going to say if incorrect moves allowed equals zero then we want to increment the, the loss column. So we want to say total loss, total losses plus equals one. And then we're going to say else if the current game dot word is equal to the current game dot formatted word, you know, the player's word that they um, have guessed, you know, the correct letters, obviously. Then we want to update the win column. So it'll be total wins plus equal one. All right. And then we want to say else we want to update the UI. All right. So after each button press, we want to do this. And then at the, at the very end, like I said, we're going to update the UI or actually, sorry, we're going to update the game state and within the game state, we're updating UI. Um, as well as you can see uh, in there uh, as the uh, last as the else statement all right so go ahead and build and run your app at this point so I'm going to go ahead and command R to build and run my app and you do the same for yours and we'll see what we have here My bad. So I had a bad uh, piece of code in there and I got a crash. So I fixed that. So now I'm going to run it again. All right. So now I'm going to spell Chewy's. I'm just going to spell it all right this time. Y'all can tell I love Chewy's, right? So S, all right, so I got my S at the end. All right, so now the game no longer, you know, the apples don't fall off the tree as I'm continually guessing letters. So that's a good sign, but you know, a bad sign is that the game is still not progressing. So we wanna fix that. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the app from running for right now. And we want to update that. So, so let's do this. So one of the things that we can do is we can uh, create a, a property observer 
for our total loss variable and for our total wins variables. And so we can do this. So we'll do a curly brace and hit enter. And we'll say did set. And another curly brace. And then inside of here, we'll go new round. So anytime the, the wins you know column gets updated from zero or whatever the case may be, um, a new round will be set. And also for the loss column, we're going to do the same thing. Anytime the score changes, did set. You got to make sure you type it out just like that. Did, you know, lowercase, uh, camel case, and basically. So D-I-D and then a capital S-E-T, just like you see it on the screen. So we're going to go new round here. All right. So um, got that. And what we're going to do now is we are going to... Uh, build and run our app once again, but this time I'm going to take out some of these words. So I'm going to take out Chewy's. Uh, I like to keep Houston in there. And I'm going to take out the Eagles, and uh, I'll leave playground, microphone, and daughters in there. All right, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and build and run my app now, and we'll see if this made any difference. So this time I'm spelling Houston. This is my first word. So H O U S T. And then the last letter is the N. Good. Oh man, but we got another problem. So now, you know, we fixed, you know, one issue, but now we have another issue. So we got to solve that issue. And it's that the letters are not re enabled. Okay. So, but the game did progress. As you can see, the wins column increased like we wanted it to, but you know the letters are still disabled from our last word. So we gotta stop that. We gotta fix that this time too. So let's do this. Um, so in the new round, we need to make our new round function a little bit better. We need to upgrade our new round. And so, you know, something we want to do is if you know basically if the game isn't over, if they're still uh, words in our variable list of words then we want to be able to update you know and re-enable the letters for each new round and keep going but once it gets to the end we want to disable all the letters so our app won't crash and if you were um you know if you saw that then you would see that so our app won't crash so this is what we're going to do so in our new round function we're going to say if not list of words dot is empty, do a curly brace. We're going to put all of this inside. So I'm going to highlight that all. I'm going to command X, and then I'm going to command V right here to paste it. So if it's not empty, we want to do this. But before we update the UI, we want to do something called enable letter buttons. And then we want to say true inside of here, parentheses. This is going to be our new function. It's not created yet, so we'll, you may get an error. And just calm down because we're going to fix it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the function and enable letter button. So we're going to say func enable letter buttons. And this is going to take, and so we're going to do an underscore right here and a space. We're gonna um, say enable. So this would be our parameter, and then the argument is gonna be a bool. Okay. And so what we want to do is we want to basically loop through all of the letters, and we're either gonna update them, we're either gonna enable them, or we're gonna disable them. So we're gonna do this. So we're gonna say for button and letter buttons, a minus letter button without the s. We want to say button dot is enabled and then we want to just call our parameter we want to use our parameter so we want to just say enable because it's a it's a bool so we're going to do that all right and so if the list of words if it's not empty this is what this first line says up here in new round basically if it's not empty then we're going to pull the first word out of the array and put that in the new game the current game and then you know all the letter buttons are going to be uh, enable and we're going to update the UI but else so if, if we're at the end you know then we're going to say enable letter buttons 
and instead this bool is going to be false so all the letters will be disabled and then your app won't crash all right so go ahead and you know run your app again this time and we're going to go through it and we're going to do this i picked some long words so this may take a few seconds all right If I can even remember my daggone words. All right, so my first word was, uh, it was Houston, right? Yeah, Houston. All right, so H O S U and then N and the T. All right, boom. So I got that. My, my win column increased by one. Uh, nope, I didn't have an S in there. Oh, playground. All right, A Y. G, um, O, and as you can see, all of the letters were re-enabled, you know, because of the uh, code that we added. So that worked out. We see that. Uh, I believe this one is daughters now, right? D, yep. A, U, G, H, T, E, R, S. Great. And then the last word. Uh, was microphone, I believe. Yeah. For me, it was microphone. May have been something totally different for you, but, you know, go ahead and take a sneak peek at your code if you need to. E. Bam. All right. So as you can see, all the letters were grayed out because that was the end of my array. And, um, yeah. So cool. That worked out. So congratulations, guys, if you made it this far. You have done a lot of work. You have learned how to, you know, do the basic, uh, you know, building blocks, use the basic building blocks in the Swift programming language. You know, you're, you've been using functions. You've been using property observers. You've used some computer properties. You've used some loops, foreign loops. You've been using, you know, manipulating uh, some labels with some string concatenation and appending uh, uh, arrays, using views, all kinds of stuff, using stack views, buttons. So it's some very, very great work, guys. Congratulations. Again, I'm very proud of you guys. Let's keep this thing going. Of course, there are some ways that we can update this app. If you check out uh, you know, the last page of uh, the Apple Pie project in a book, it'll show you some ways that you can research and update the app. But I'm going to leave it here for now. Um, you know, let's keep this ball rolling and I'll see you in the next section. This is St. R. Edwards with the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for Everyone. You guys take care.